Hi friends, hello the world. Welcome back to this episode of Tools for Transitioning Humanitarians. And I apologize for this poor lighting because I'm recording this in the evening, in the midnight actually, uh, before going on my uh, next trip. So that's why I thought I would record um, so that it's ready for Friday. Okay, so the topic that I want to talk to you today about that I have been discussing with so many clients of mine, especially women clients, so that's why um, tune in, the topic of not confident enough. I have been talking about confidence, I think, in so many different ways, but this one I realized might be crucial for you to all to listen to as to how are we using not confident enough to hide, to play small, to not go for for what we want to, to not really speak up the things that we want to speak up, to um, not really give weight to our um, statements, to our speeches, to what we really want to say in meetings uh, or in front of other people that we highly respect. All of this... I see is coming from this belief that we are not confident enough. That many of us have this belief that we need to do more. We need to have more experience. We need to have more evidence. We need to have more that shows us that we're confident. So I was uh, coaching two of my clients recently, one of them actually right before this recording. And both of them are in high positions in the organization. Both of them were speaking to me about seeking external validation to feel confident. And then I was saying, I was asking them, what is the bar? What is the level of validation that you need to have so that you feel confident? And one of them was not really sure, but the other one was saying that, yes, I do get highest level of praise, highest level of validation of how she's doing an amazing job at that high level, but still feeling like something is missing. Still feeling like, no, this is not it, right? They're still feeling like, I mean, she was telling me that she feels very good about it, for that day or for a short amount of time, but then it all goes out and then feeling back to not feeling the importance, not feeling the um, importance of her speech, her contribution as much as she values other people's. So not enough, this inherent like feeling, I think many of us maybe have been programmed to feel or uh, have learned from others and suffice to say that many of us can relate to this feeling of not feeling like we have uh, everything enough we always seem to be missing something and we don't really value ourselves or our contributions and therefore we keep seeking for that evidence whatever that evidence is so that it finally confirms to us that we are confident enough right so if you are in that situation that you keep seeking for the evidence to show that this is enough or this is where you get to feel confident about yourself then ask yourself this question which I was asking my client today is I, I ask yourself what level of job you need to have or what level of um I don't know recognition you need to have for you to then say you're confident because she was telling me that um in school she used to be feeling very confident and then now it's not so much and then we were like looking at what was the difference and she was saying that well maybe in school she used to get lots of great marks to say that she that made her feel like she was confident, right, which is an external validation. And then I was saying, but you have a very high level in the organization now. If that doesn't give you the confirmation, then what does? Right? That's just a beautiful example to show you that 
seeking that evidence, seeking that external validation never makes us feel confident in the long term. Because that level of external validation coming from someone else, it seems like we have difficulty internalizing it, even if we want to, right? Therefore, seeking evidence or keep seeking evidence as to when we become confident, we are losing the battle because we will never achieve that point, right? We will never have an enough or good enough evidence in quotes for us to then say oh finally now I'm confident because I must be because I have this evidence right there will always be more and more that we keep searching for we keep searching and we keep feeling like in this wheel of not confident enough and the the thing that I really want to demonstrate here is not only that you can't internalize that external validation but also what I want to demonstrate, what is it that you are missing out on by keep telling yourself that you're not confident, right? In addition to what I have been telling in, in the beginning, think about it. If you keep yourself in this loop of not good enough, not confident enough, not whatever enough, what is it that you're missing out on or what is it that you're not going for? And that's what I really, I think what is key here is that message is that in the case of my um, both clients that I was talking about is that they are not going for higher positions that I would like to, but because they keep telling themselves that they're not um, confident enough, they're not good enough, they're not this enough, and therefore they're not going for higher positions that they could actually do well, but then they keep stopping themselves from it. Right. Another one is they keep then searching for different solutions that are trivial. They keep searching for those solutions, believing that's the answer, which is not because then if we if the pattern goes, I am confident only then, then we keep searching for the next thing, for the next thing. We keep wanting the evidence and the evidence. And as soon as we get the evidence, then we keep wanting for more evidence. So therefore, that's not the answer. And that's what keeps happening. And what we're not going for as well is we're not really then leading to the leading the teams or leading the, uh, the people to create the impact that we want to because we're so busy in our own head of how we're not confident or how we're not enough in this and enough in that. And then we're not really creating the impact we want to. We're not really contributing to the decisions in the way we want to. We're not really working on those important topics that we want to work on. And we're busy here with other tasks. And we're essentially not allowing ourselves to grow more because we're just keep like holding ourselves from expanding, holding ourselves from uh, taking more responsibilities or uh, leading more uh, to the vision, to the impact that we want. And that's what I really want to point out to you. The downside of keep feeling this not confident enough, keep feeling this, uh, I need the evidence to confirm that I'm confident and keep needing this external validation and then never being able to use that because the effect of that external validations wears out very soon and then we're back to square one. So that's why, my dears, if you are in this situation, here is how I really want you to handle this, how I really want you to have that conversation with yourself, have that serious conversation with yourself because I really intended this episode to be a rant, but I'm trying not to do that. So lovingly, lovingly, I'm wanting you to challenge that concept of yours or challenge that belief of yours, however the way you want to see this. They're challenging that when are you going to be confident enough to be going for whatever you're wanting to go? When that magic moment you feel is going to befall or come upon you, 
right? What do you think your brain wants you to believe? Like, what is the evidence that finally comes that confirms that you are confident enough, your um, uh, contribution is valuable enough for you to go to uh, what you want to? When that can happen, you ask yourself that question. And if your answer is like, when I will be this in this position, when I will be in that position, or when I will have this responsibility, or when I will have this much amount of, amount of money, whatever that is, then ask yourself how having all the achievements now is not confirming, and why would that confirm, right? Like challenge your brain. I really want you to challenge your brain your concepts and say, if the current situation, if the current achievements that you have didn't confirm your confidence in you, then why do you think the next achievement will confirm? What will be the difference then? And I bet you will not have an answer. And even if you do, I would love to hear that answer. So the first thing I want you to do is challenge your concept of when that magic moment will come where you feel confident. Now, when you realize that the evidence that you keep seeking will never arrive and seeking evidence is not a good idea, even though in other areas of our lives, we love evidence and I'm all for it. But in this particular, because the feeling of confidence come from the belief, and not from the evidence, then I really want you to like by challenging, realize that evidence may never be enough for you to really feel confident. Then the next thing I want you to realize is that if it's not an evidence that can confirm our confidence, that can confirm really like now I feel confident, then what is? I really want you to think about like if we can't satisfy our feeling of confidence with evidence because we have lots of evidence already right so if it's not confirming now then what will and i want you to answer that question what will confirm that you are confident enough and you're confident now to do the things and to do the big leaps to do the uh, go for the higher position to make the bigger impact to uh, assume more responsibility what will and here is the answer that I want you to explore. The answer will be in how you believe in yourself. What your beliefs about yourself. It will not be in the evidence. It will not be in the experience. It will not be in the external validation. But it will be in how you believe in yourself, in your skills, in your experience, in what you have created. All of this will either create uh, a feeling of confidence or not. If it doesn't, that means you're not really believing in yourself, in your other, in your skills, in your abilities, in your capabilities, in your achievements. And the next beautiful question is, why not? Right? Why not? Why are you not believing in them? Why are you dismissing your own achievements? Why are you dismissing all the things that you have developed and uh, learned throughout your career? Why not? And these are the questions you can answer yourself. And if you're struggling with this, come to me. I would love to coach you on the Excuse me. Because my dears, fellow humanitarians, especially women fellow humanitarians, I really, really, really want us to create the world where we are no longer busy with questions of how we're not confident enough, how we're, our contribution is not valued enough or whatever, whatever, but rather speaking up, saying the things that we want to, creating the impact we want to, leading the people to the impact that we're wanting to create together, creating that leadership in a different way if we're not satisfied with the current way of um, things being done. We really need those like models, role models, those um, leaders in the world, especially in the humanitarian world, 
And in order to create that, in order to give more unique styles of uh, working, the more unique styles of uh, creating the impact, the unique styles of communication, unique styles of contribution, in order for that to happen, we really need to stop being busy with our not being enough, whatever that is, not confident enough, not this enough, not that enough. Because if we're busy with that, then we keep hiding, we keep overwhelming ourselves, we keep just feeling tired, or we keep feeling like we need to just not say the things when we're supposed to and we want to. And that is not useful for any of us, not us and not the people who could hear our messages. So that's why I really, really want you to a challenge all of those concepts about when that magical moment comes and be realizing that if we keep waiting for the evidence, evidence may never come and it may never be enough because the feeling of confidence in ourselves come from recognizing, uh, valuing, understanding, knowing how we have achieved what we have achieved how we have the skills that we have and who we are as people and believing in that and therefore deciding that we have the confidence in doing what we want to do in the ways we want to do and how we can mobilize and have our teams on board to create the impact we want to create. And that's what I really want us to be busy with, uh, to work on, to create the life we want, to create the impact we want, to lead the people uh, in the way that we want to create that vision, to serve the people the way we think is most valuable. That's what I would love for us all to be busy with rather than keep making things about those things that make us hide, that make us um, dismiss uh, of who we are and of our achievements. And therefore, the world doesn't get to see how in unique other ways we contribute and how that is so valuable to the better good of the humanity, the people that we serve, and ourselves. So my dears, I really hope that you will use this tool to really make a decision about your confidence and start making a decision of how you might just be confident enough. If you can't get to the confident, you might just be confident enough to be going for the uh, positions you want, to be going for the big leaps, to be going for creating the life you want, the impact you want, and get busy with it. Have an amazing weekend, and I will speak to you very soon. Thank you so much.